Hi and welcome to another Panel Company video. Today we're going to show you how to install a clad seal strip, the strip end caps, and explain a little bit about what they're for and what they do and how they can help maintain a clean and hygienic bathroom for you. For this install you're going to need obviously a clad seal strip which looks like this. And the clad seal end caps which look like this. <laughs> so a clad seal strip can be used for a bath or a shower. Uh, here, obviously, just in this example, we're using a, a, an old shower tray that we had on display. Um, it can be used straight across with the end caps or mitered into a corner as we've got it here. Um, this is one we fitted previously for a, a short video for TikTok. Uh, so this one has already gone through the process of, of everything I'm about to show you now. Uh, I'll just take a little bit more time to show you in detail and maybe make a neater job of it. <laughs> So obviously you're going to want to measure the tray, make sure you cut everything to the right length, allow for your shower screen or shower door or your enclosure, make sure you've got everything measured and marked out properly first. Uh, this one is just cut to some random length because it is just for a, a, a how to, um, but obviously if you, if you are going to be installing a, say we were installing a shower screen. Make sure you measure to where the inside of the shower screen is. And luckily, we've got these old marks from where, <laughs> where the display used to be. So obviously, you're going to want to cut it up to there. And that will then sit flush up against the inside of the screen. You're obviously going to need a silicon gun and some silicon loaded in it. Um, it doesn't matter the colour because the purpose of the clad seal strip is to completely hide the silicon. Now, as I said in the intro, um, a clad seal is designed to help lower the maintenance and raise the hygienic factor in your bathroom. So the profile is such that the silicon sits in this groove here, and that gets completely filled with silicon, which then obviously sits on top of the tray, seals to the tray. The profile is such that all of the silicon is hidden. So no matter what silicon you use, whether it's a forever white with a 10 year mold guarantee or just the standard 200 or 450, you are never gonna see that silicon ever again. So that removes the need to use the strip out and smooth out tool every you know year or two years, however, however often you start getting that normal sort of mold around the, the bottom of the tray. You don't need to scrape it out, you don't need to reseal it. It stays hidden and it stays white because it's PVC. I've told you some of the features and some of the benefits. Um, obviously, like I say, I've got this one pre-installed, pre-mitered in the corner. This one is the same. So essentially, as I explained, the silicon goes into this groove underneath. And you want to put it in obviously very very thick it might take a couple of passes a couple of squeezes obviously you don't want this to leak This last one can actually be a little bit messier and I will explain why in just a sec. Okay, so now you can see that channel underneath overflowing really with silicone probably a little bit too much in there you might be worried about making a mess but that is where the strip end caps come in handy the only bit of this entire thing that you use are the small punch out bits that uh, fit the end profile of the clad seal the rest is a for packaging because they are so small that you don't want them to go missing but also you can use this as a scraper to 
get rid of any excess. <laughs> so it's nice and even and flat. So you don't get any squeeze out. So that's it, your clad seal's prepped, ready. Ready to install. Obviously, you want your mitre to meet nicely in the corner. Come. Mitre in the corner. Nice and flat and flush on top of the tray. Give it a little bit of pressure. The exposed end looks a little bit ugly, but like I say, we've got the clad seal end caps. These are only a couple of quid, and uh, they do uh, they do a very good job of neatening up this end. Just get rid of the excess silicon around the end. And that just pops in there. So that's the clad seal completely fitted essentially um, you can still obviously like I say secure it with some screws into the back through the pre-drill holes and then all you do is pop your panel on the top you've got a nice flush edge for it to sit up against as long as obviously it's all straight and level and your cut on the bottom of the shower panel is fine it should sit perfectly flush the uh, clad seal itself is sealed to the tray and there's plenty of coverage there, so there's no need for any silicone behind the panel, on the tray, or across the front here. It just sits flush, no mess, no mold, no fuss, and looks good for a long time. Um, you might be a little bit concerned by this gap here, but obviously remember this is dry fit. Uh, your panel will have obviously um, lots of adhesive on the back, which will more than make up for, for that. Quick demo with the silicon that I've got remaining in this gun. Obviously, we don't recommend you use silicon to stick to plasterboard. It would be pink grip ideally, but for the purposes of this and to save opening another tube of adhesive just to show you. And when you've got the adhesive behind, it does make up for that little bit of gap at the bottom caused by the trim. So I hope that's answered a few questions. We do get quite a lot of questions about the clad seal, what it's for, how it works. So I think I've covered everything there. Uh, if you've still got more questions, leave us a comment. Um, we are going to be doing a lot more content like this. We are pretty new to YouTube, but if you want a lot of questions answered, you want to see new products, uh, quick tips, things like that, like and subscribe to this video and uh, we'll be back soon.